Disc brakes and rotor onto your Razor SX500, MX500, MX650, and RSF650. And they're all the same. I'm gonna be show we're gonna be taking out the stock cable brakes, and these are them. And we're gonna be switching them with hydraulic, a lot better braking. It will start breaking on the nine. What's up, guys? I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change out the stock cable brake, cable disc brakes. You can see the rotor and caliper right there. We're going to be changing those out too. I'm going to be showing you guys. And the back caliper. And the back wheel is at the shop getting a new tire. So, but I will be showing you guys how to do that too. And we'll be taking out all of this. Alright, so I'm going to be unboxing the disc brakes and rotors. So these are the rotors. 160 millimeter rotors. So you're going to need two of those. So I've got two. And they're both 160, as you can see. And then we're going to do the disc brakes, calipers, and levers, and the line. I got zoom brakes off Amazon. They come pre-bled. So it's going to be, should be really simple. You can see. We're just going to pull out one for now. I think... This is the front brake, short, shorter line, as you can see, front brake, and then the other ones are the back brakes, I'll show, I will show you guys, put these on the floor right here, and back brakes, zooms, and your mounting screws for the calipers, thank you. So we went to Home Depot, we had to get these Star Allen wrenches and we're using a T27 to get all the bolts out because they were stripped and they wouldn't come out. So just be careful when you're doing it and get the Star T27 size. So we're hammering into the original ones. My dad's helping me. Suggest to not use the original bolts that the new rotors came with because they'll probably get stripped again. So just use the factory bolts that came with your razor. On the other rotor, we used a regular T25 because on the other one we stripped it with the regular Allen key. So just get a star T25 and it should work perfectly. And if it doesn't, just get the T27 and hammer it in and it'll work. Thank you. Spaces off the rotors. And they're ready to be thrown on the bike. Alright, so we flipped the bike around because we I was wrapping the back end because the rotor it got stripped because we we're using a regular Allen key. So we went to Home Depot and bought a star, as I said right now. And then just keep in mind you're gonna need your toolbox. Now I'm gonna take off the front wheel to get this uh, the new rotor on right here. And took the spaces off and yep. So for the front wheel, you're going to need an 11 16th and a 9, 9 16 socket. And we're going to take the front wheel. Now we're going to take the front wheel off. And let's do it. Take the front rotor off. Front rotor off. Now we install the new one. Now it's fully installed. Now we're gonna start working on putting the new hydraulic disc brakes in. The stock brake levers off. So now we're gonna install the caliper. So you're going to want to tighten these screws connecting to this bracket and then from this bracket you're going to put this screw into this and it can screw. So now we're going to install it right here and don't forget to pull out this little tab and do not press the brakes 
with this tab in, or you know, oh, or else you're gonna have to open up your brake pads. So just don't press your brakes while this tab is not. So I suggest you put a lock washer on before you put your axle on. And put your, since it's already pre-bled, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a zip tie through this hole and then grab the brake line. Pull the brake line, tighten it. And then I have this zip tie cooler. And we're just gonna tighten the zip tie. And I'm gonna put the throttle back on. And then we're just gonna tighten everything up. Got the zoom brakes installed. Light it down. Added another zip tie. And the brakes. Now we just got to change out the old cable brake. It, it's going all the way down because there's no back wheel. But we're going to install the other cable brake now. Or the other hydraulic disc brake. Look at the difference between the zoom brakes and the stocks. Looks so much better. Alright guys, so I ran into a problem where the bolt for the caliper was hitting on the rotor. They were touching. So it was making a noise, so I saw that. So I did put a washer and it, it fixed it. So, and now it works pretty good. You see, brake, the brake's on a dime. We're gonna start by taking off the rear caliper and then leading that line to this brake lever. And then we're gonna continue from there. Alright guys, so now that you got your old caliper off, we're going to pull this line, brake line out, and then lead it through. Now that you got your caliper off, you can lead the brake line through. Now that you got your brake line light off, up through here, and then we're going to take off this brake lever next. Okay, so I super glued my grip on because I didn't like how much it was moving and I need to get grip on. So I'm just gonna use a heat gun heater that's a little more to yank it off. The grip and old brake lever off. Now it's time to install a new zoom brakes. Let's do it. Okay, so I got the both zoom brakes in super nice and then now we're gonna throw the grip back on but so when I was using the heat gun since I super glued it like it was like it was bound to happen it ripped so I'm just gonna throw on these other gray sound grips I ordered new ones they're coming tomorrow so I'm just gonna throw these on for today but so now I'm gonna put these on and then I'll show you guys how. It so, if you guys ever wanna put a grip on, I just sprayed some all purpose in it. So, I'll say all purpose just to get it nice and wet in there. And then it should just slip right on. As you see. So, now you see, grips on, brakes. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So, guys, you see Zoom brakes installed. Sheesh. Installed this little light to, for the surround headlight. Just wired it up. And the zoom front brake. And then I just got some spoke covers to them install too. So far, so good. Alright, guys, so got the roll back with a new tire. Now we're gonna slap the 
rotor on, 160 millimeter rotor, and then we're gonna put it all back together and test the brakes. All right guys, so I grabbed the T25 star shape Allen key. I'm gonna grab my wrench and just lock it in this. And now I'm gonna take the, the stock rotor off. All right guys, got the stock rotor off. <clears throat> now we're gonna install the 160 millimeter. Side comparison. Got the new 160 millimeter rotor on. Now time to install. Hey okay guys, I'm gonna throttle and then brake for you guys can see. Right away.